Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, August 8, 2012. There's been a volcanic eruption of some size in the North Island of New Zealand this morning. Mount Tongariro uh, uh, erupted the first time in about 100 years. Uh, the emergency management people have advised residents of nearby communities to remain indoors. The uh, volcano is still rumbling. Uh, most importantly, an aviation alert has been uh, issued, a red aviation code by the New Zealand air traffic people, the highest level for, level for planes in the region uh, pertaining to volcanic ash. So with uh, flights from uh, the west coast of the United States to the Australia area and to New Zealand uh, are delayed, that will be the reason. And we're watching this closely, clearly with what happened in the uh, Iceland volcano situation several summers back, uh, the potential is quite large. And meanwhile, a little bit further to the uh, northwest in Manila, uh, the city of 12 million people has seen about 80% of the geographic area inundated by floods. Um, according to emergency authorities, the floods in some areas uh, are like rivers. The roads are being uh, seen with small boats moving around. All roads and alleys are flooded. Troops have been rushed in. 800,000 people have been dislocated. Uh, financial markets, however, reopened today. They were shut yesterday. However, schools and many businesses remain closed. A little update on uh, tropical storms and typhoons. Ernesto uh, struck the Yucatan Peninsula very early this morning as a hurricane. Uh, it had sustained winds of 85 miles per hour when it hit. It's been downgraded now to a tropical storm at 70 miles, 70 miles per hour. Hasn't done any damage yet. It's expected perhaps to regain hurricane strength when it uh, re-emerges over the Bay of Campeche. Meanwhile, in China, the 11th typhoon of the year has struck that country. Typhoon Haiku uh, hit uh, the uh, area near central Zhejiang in Xinjiang County with speeds of about 90, 90 miles per hour winds. Uh, provincial authorities have already evacuated about a million and a half people. Um, Back to reinsurance news, the Insurance Insider is reporting that the Lloyd's Central Fund will be forced to pick up the bill for some of Market Form's disastrous Italian medical malpractice account, with two of the insurer's corporate names now insolvent. Market Form is a Lloyd's syndicate. This will be the first noteworthy batch of claims to place a cash call on the Lloyd's Central Fund since 2006 when Goshawk syndicates hit it. Initially, the central fund, according to the insider, will have to pay close to one-third share of the 30 million pound cash call that has been issued to market form investors. Keep an eye on that. XL down in Bermuda, Mike McGavick did it again. Their second quarter property and casualty underwriting profit nearly doubled this year. Lower investment returns left its net profit for the quarter a little bit behind the same period last year but they reported a uh, very solid underwriting performance, about 90% combined ratio. Um, they saw underwriting profit for the quarter uh, up to about 130 million compared to 67 million last year. Uh, their uh, investment income dropped about $32 million uh, for the quarter. Uh, obviously, there's not many places to get a good return these days. Uh, that fire at the Chevron oil refinery uh, north of San Francisco in Richmond is not quite out. Chevron is conducting a controlled burn of the facility. It sent a thousand people to area hospitals complaining of uh, sm uh, smoke-related breathing problems. A huge cloud of black smoke uh, was uh, sent over the San Francisco Bay Area and it's still smoldering. Uh, analysts are saying that the uh, price of gasoline in California is likely to be impacted by this fire. The price per gallon of gas in California is currently $3.86. Um, this refinery produces about 16% of the uh, California region. This is a couple of states out there, not just California, daily gasoline consumption. Uh, analysts are expecting that the uh, effect of the fire will soon result in a uh, average cost per gallon in California of gasoline of an excess of four dollars a gallon. Uh, Chevron said they don't know when the refinery will be operating again. Hey, on Benfield's issued a uh, little sum up of the July natural cat uh, disasters worldwide. They start with the heavy rainfall in China. 
um, which uh, led to about 325 deaths, caused about $157 million in insured claims. Uh, Aon uh, said that Beijing saw its worst flooding and rainfall in 60 years. Uh, they then, of course, uh, reviewed the American uh, drought situation. Oddly enough, 4,313 record high temperatures in the United States were set during the month of July. So any questions about global warning, uh, warming need to be uh, looked at. Total insured crop losses are anticipated to be into the billions of dollars. Uh, there was also uh, a stretch in the U.S. for over three days with heavy thunderstorms in the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the Northeast that will uh, result in payments of about $275 million. Well, this is something you knew would happen. A lawyer says there could be a simple explanation as for why an Ohio man, allegedly armed to the teeth, appeared at a Saturday night screening for that Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises. The lawyer says he wanted protection. Um, the alleged uh, uh, um, potential assailant, the Scott Smith, allegedly packed a bag with a loaded 9mm Glock, extra ammo clips, and four knives for his trip to the movie theater. Only in America could you have all that. Uh, the police reported that the patron arrived extra early and took a seat with his back to the wall at the top of the theater, giving him a strategic advantage, said the police. What concerned us is that where he was sitting in the theater, if he chose to do something, his potential victims were in front of him and he had an advantage. Uh, the police went on to say when you consider the movie he was attending and with what happened in, Col in Colorado, our officers did a great job in spotting him and we want to make sure he does not bring weapons into that particular film. I guess other films are all right. However, Mr. Smith's attorney said, uh, no, 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 this was simply an instance where a man felt fear going into a movie theater in light of recent shootings and incidents around the country and he wanted to protect himself. Prosecutors are going to decide whether to bring charges. Of course, uh, last month a gunman walked into a Colorado movie theater and killed 12 people. That's uh, the news for today. It's depressing as it is. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.